Scanning and exploration in EVE Echoes, it's something I've alluded to in recent videos, but what exactly is it and how do you do exploration in EVE Echoes? Well, that's the purpose of today's video. First things first, what you need to go exploring and scanning in EVE Echoes is the Explorer Wide Range Wave Resonance Simulator. This particular module allows you to go and scan down sites and locations that you can go and use your scanning modules on and whatnot and maybe find dead spaces, etc, etc. This module isn't for scanning down other players. There is another version of this module which has a bit of a more red tint to it. You'll see it when you find it on the marketplace. Now, before we get started, if there's anything you can do to influence the minimum scan radius seen in the bottom right corner, try to get it below 75 meters if you can whether it's by rigs, skills, nanocore, etc. You don't have to get it that low, but if you get it down to 75 meters, you will be able to see all of the sites that are currently available within the game to my knowledge. The second and third modules that we need is the data analyzer and the grave, not the grave, the relic analyzer. So the data analyzer and the relic analyzer. That is because you will be able to scan down two different types of sites that you can loot without having to do any form of combat. These two sites, however, need their containers opening with one of these two modules. But you're not always going to know when you undock which one of these two modules you're going to need. So it's highly recommended that you fly a ship that has three mid slots. One for your scanner and two so that you've got one for each of your analyzers. Now moving on, you've got your ship fitted, whatever that ship may be. You head out into space and you hit that scan button. If you get lucky and there are anomalies within the system to scan down, you'll see this wave signature graph up in front of you. What it'll ask you to do is eliminate noise from the signal wave to allow your ship to hone down and lock in on the position. You'll be requested to remove between one to three noise signals this is a mini game in and of itself, and it's a really difficult mini game to describe in one video. That said, however, the Eve Echoes YouTube channel itself has a video where they do a much better job than I could possibly do in explaining this mini game. But it is a nice little puzzle, a nice little puzzle that only takes what about 30 seconds or so to do. When you've completed this mini game puzzle, moving along, you'll be given the signal type. This is where you can actually see what it is that you've scanned down. If you're particularly unlucky, you'll get a level 4 uh, compressed nihilus space, which is a very low-grade mining space. If you're particularly lucky in a nearby system to where you're based, you'll get a T10 Juristus Executor dead space that you can get all your friends to run. Alternatively, you might get relic sites or data sites that you can go in and use your modules on to go and open those containers. Of course, if you do get these particular sites, what you want to do is head out to them, make sure you're decloaked. It, of course, will not work if you're cloaked up. Lock onto these containers and tap these two modules just to see which one it is that you need. It will start automatically cycling, as you can see up on screen right now, until you eventually get a success and the loot container opens. There is a limited number of runs that each box will allow you to do with your module before it self-destructs. And this is where training the hacking skill comes in handy because it increases the odds of you being able to open these containers. Don't be surprised if the odd one explodes on you. It happens to us all even when we've got the skills trained up. So of course, that is a quick overview of scanning in EVE Echoes. There will be more videos to follow with a little bit more of a specific knowledge guide on how to do things, best practices, recommended ships, etc, etc. But that is the basic information that you need for scanning in Eve Echoes. So was this video useful? Feel free to let me know in the comment section below and hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more Eve Echoes related content. Until then, see you guys in the next video.